Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at identifying intervals where a function is increasing, decreasing, or staying constant using a graph. So the first thing we have to talk about is what is an interval. So an interval is just the space in between two locations. Mathematically this is described in terms of the domain and in fact what we're going to do is we're going to use inequalities to describe a section of the domain that corresponds to a certain part of the graph. So looking at the graph we have here, I want you to notice the part that I've highlighted in orange. This place in between those two points, the point 0, 3 and the point 3, 8, is an interval of that graph. And we would describe that interval as being on the domain between 0 and 3. And you can see that I have used a compound inequality to describe that. 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 3. So the x in this case is going to describe or is going to tell us that we're focusing on the domain. We could also see that where we would use y, which would be a focus on the range. And then these two numbers on the outside, the 0 and the 3, are telling us that we're looking at all the x values in between 0 and 3. That's all this compound inequality means. And we can look at that for the other spaces as well. If we look at that flatter part of the graph, which is now highlighted in green, that's the interval between 3 and 7 on the x-axis. So we would describe it with that compound inequality. 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 7. And we can also talk about that final section of the graph, highlighted here in purple, which is the interval between 7 and 10. And again, you see that compound inequality representing that part of the domain. So we see a couple things coming back to haunt us here. We see these compound inequalities, which are now used to describe sections of the graph. And we have this idea of domain and range, domain being the x-axis which is this part of the graph, and then range, which I will do in, let's say, blue, which is this part of the graph. So I'm only interested in the x values. So for this first one, it starts at 0 and goes all the way to 3. So I can see for my domain on the x-axis, this is all the numbers in between 0 and 3, which is where that compound inequality comes from. So for any one of those intervals, there are only three possible options. We can either say that interval is increasing, decreasing, or staying constant based on what the range values do over the course of that part of the domain. If an interval is increasing, the final range value is going to be larger than the starting range value. And when I say final and starting, I start from the left and move towards the right, just like reading. So if I take this orange interval that we were looking at before, I can get ordered pairs for the starting point, because remember we go left to right, just like in reading. So this starts at the point 0, 3, and this ends at the point 3, 8. So what I want to do is I want to look at my range values. Remember range is the second number in the ordered pair. And I started at 3 and I went to 8, which means that my range value increased over the course of that interval. So I would describe that interval as being increasing. I can also find this out just by looking at the graph. As I go left to right on the graph, if this interval is increasing, it's going to be going upward. So you can think of it as going up a hill if you're traveling left to right, and that interval would be said to be increasing. An interval is decreasing if the final range value is smaller than the starting range value. So let's look now at this purple interval, and we can look at our starting and ending points. 
we start at the point 7, 8, and we end up at the point 10, 3. Now to determine if this is decreasing, I'm only looking at the range values. And going from left to right, I started at 8 and I finished at 3, so my range value decreased. So I would say that this interval is decreasing. I can also find this by just again looking at the graph. If as I go left to right over this interval it feels like I'm going downhill, that is the function is falling, then we would say that this interval is decreasing. If an interval is constant, the range value does not change. So now we can look at this middle section here labeled in green, and we can look at our x and y values. We have 3 and 8 for our starting value, and 7, 8 for our ending value. And we can see the range, which is again all I care about on this interval, does not change. When this happens, we say that the interval is constant. Looking at the graph, we can tell if an interval is constant by looking for a horizontal line. Horizontal, like the horizon, means flat. So anytime you see that flat line, you see that you have an area where the interval is said to be constant.